In second law of thermodynamics, we always relate that spontaneous processes happen in a direction of increasing entropy. Entropy, which is usually defined as a measure of disorder is ambiguous. Thus, a new approach sets out a variant approach to entropy. Entropy is actually a measure of the degree of the spreading and sharing of thermal energy, basically motional energy, within a system into a larger volume of space or a wider area. Entropy can also be said as the number of possible arrangements or microstates that can be achieved by the system in the next instant. So in our daily lives, what are the examples of natural phenomena that can we use the concept of dispersal of energy and understanding of second law of thermodynamics? Ah, melting of solid ice. Yes, you are right. Let us carry out a small experiment on melting of ice. The system is the cold glass of ice and water while the surroundings is the warm room. Energy flows from the surroundings into the system that is from hot to cold. Rapid breaking and forming of new bonds, mainly hydrogen bonds, happen in the system. Vibrational energy possessed by the water molecules in the solid state that allow them to dance in place in the crystal previously is now changed to translational energy in the liquid. Besides solely vibrating, the water molecules are now able to translate and move around every trillionth of a second. That initial motional energy of vibration that was in the crystal is now distributed among an enormous additional number of translational energy levels. Energy is now dispersed in a larger space and a wider area. Quantitatively, the Boltzmann equation is the relation between microstates and entropy. It states that the entropy of a substance at a given temperature and volume depends on the logarithm of the number of microstates for it. The given equation is S is equal to K on W. Any entropy change from an initial state to a final state would be delta S equal to K on final W divided by initial W. If the number of microstates for a system or surroundings increases, there is going to be an increase in entropy. I see. Then, what do you mean by the microstates? W which stands for microstate is the ways of energy distribution. It is the number of microscopic arrangements for a given state. The number of microstates for a system determines the number of ways in any one of which that the total energy of a microstate can be at one instant. We can also think of W as the number of possible ways of arranging within energy levels while maintaining the total energy constant at that instant and that particular temperature. All right, like you said, so what does microstate of a system have to do with dispersal of energy and results in an increase in entropy during the melting of ice? How actually are they related? In the melting of ice, energy is absorbed from the surroundings to the system. Once liquid water is completely formed from the solid ice, the temperature of water starts to increase from 0 degrees Celsius to room temperature. Thermal equilibrium is reached as it obeys Zeroth law of thermodynamics. As the temperature increases, the water molecules are now able to break, make, and move a little. Thus, the water molecules now have so many additional newly accessible energy levels when they are in liquid state. This simply means that there are far more additional accessible microstates during the phase transition of water from solid to liquid. Additional accessible microstates means that at any instant, the total energy of the system is in just one microstate, but it has very many more choices for a different microstate the next instant. Note that a single microstate of a system has all the energies of all the molecules on specific energy levels at one instant. In the next instant, whether just one collision or many occur, our system will be in a new, different microstate. In other words, as the temperature increases, there exists more number of microstates in the system. Energy spreads out and greater energy dispersal happens in the system and cause an increase in entropy of the system. Yes. Finally I got it. After all, I am sure a wise observer will ask, doesn't the warm room, the surroundings decrease in its entropy when its molecules have to slow a little bit as a result of transferring its energy to the system? The answer is yes, entropy of the system increases but the room does decrease in its entropy. However, the increase is greater than the decrease. So in overall, there is a net increase in the entropy. To be more precise, the entropy of the universe increases. Yes, you are right. A general conclusion is that any transfer of energy due to temperature difference that results in a net entropy increase must involve the totality of system as well as the surroundings. As long as the delta S of universe increases for any process, that process is spontaneous and it obeys the second law of thermodynamics.